Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I'm Tamika, just a country Mississippi girl living in North Carolina. So y'all, this video right here is going to be very short and to the point, okay? So, um, my thing is, with all this talk about going cashless or cashless society, do y'all actually know what that means? All of us, like, like people that sell, okay, I'm going to use myself for example. If you sell, like, eggs and stuff, or you go to the flea market and stuff, and you sell things on the side, if money, if we go to a cashless society, don't you know you got to load that on a card? Which means once you load it, then everybody knows it, <laughs> okay? So, my thing is, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. But far as if that's the thing, if everything go cashless and everything like that, shout out for this shout out, y'all, this glare. It makes it like, wait, wait, it, okay, there we go. Um, there is nothing we can actually do about it, um, but, you know, adjust to it. But right now, you know, you can't do nothing about that. But right now, there are things you can be doing is, you know, preparing for it. You know, make sure that, you know, you are you have what you need so you don't have anything to worry about okay yes a lot of people say oh that will be traced oh i don't want people to know my income or what i get well it is what it is and you got to think about people that get services like you know maybe food stamps and stuff like that i mean you're not gonna be able to say you know that you're working and you're not Okay, you can't you can't do self employment or oh I'm working but you're not really working because you, you you're gonna need to you know and I don't I, I hope nobody is doing it but I know some somebody is but my thing is all that is gonna come to an end if we go cashless if 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 everything is cashless because you're not you're not gonna be able to use your money in the store you're gonna have to swipe everything. Okay, so if you know that's how you're making your living or whatever, by doing little stuff on the side, like I say, whether it's going to the flea market, you got your own little business where you take nothing but cash, uh, whatever the case may be, you know, you're supposed to be, you know, if you're making a certain amount, you're supposed to be reporting that anyway. That is, that, that is what you're supposed to be doing. But a lot of people don't do it and they are depending on that. Now, um, I'm not for anyone doing anything that they're not supposed to do and nothing like that, but it's just down to the point. Why would you sit and wait and not prepare? And the only way you can prepare is to make sure you got food and stuff stocked up, especially if that's um uh, mean. If you're doing little odd jobs on the side and you get paid cash or whatever here and there, if you're doing that to put food on the table, you might want to start stocking up now because if you don't want nobody to know what you're making and we go we go into this cashless thing and i seen an article i had seen that first at once it said june but i just um looked at the thing again and now it's saying for july so july 2023 so like i said the best thing to do is to make sure that we're doing what we what we do everything that we doing we doing legal okay but you know you don't have to report and i think i think after so much that you make is considered a job you need to report and stuff like that and you know i feel like that's gonna be to cut out a lot of that stuff a lot of people doing things under the table and stuff like that so you might want to start stocking up on food so you can make sure you prepare the only way to prepare for that is to stock up on food grow your own food um necessities things like that and just look for you know a way that you'll be able to make sure you have the things you need um the things you need for you and your family just in case and you say you don't want to you know you may not some people have said they don't want to even do it they, they that they that they just rather you know not have than to go cash and have things you know tracked of what they spend it and stuff people there are some people i was looking at some comments and some people said they just rather live off grid before they do that everybody's not able to do that so y'all think about that um i hope everybody is doing everything the right way uh, but if it goes in that direction then there's really nothing you can do there's nothing you can do um 
but just adjust to it okay so i wanted to bring that to y'all attention just put it on your head a little bit more just making you aware and to be um looking at things and making sure you trying to prepare as much as possible on um, the best way you can get rice and beans and things like that uh whatever you need for is medicines and stuff like that just in case that is a way it, it, just in case you'll be um uh you won't be able to do what you need to do on the side if we go cash this whatever mean that will be you know so with that being said let me go ahead and end this video right here don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so we notify each and every time that i upload a video and i will see y'all in the next one if it's god's will okay bye